Hey, so this is Jeffrey from Eastern Applied Research today, just going over quickly the handheld XRF analyzer, the XMET 8000 series from Oxford Instruments. Today we're going to look at the system here, uh, using it in the bench top or the light travel stand with the nose cone. And I've got it connected to a computer so I can show you the software and flow. So this right here is the screen that you would see an, on the actual analyzer, but again I've got it connected to the uh, computer so I can operate it off the computer. We'll just log in and then I'll run down what the options are in the software so you can see it, do a quick measurement and then show you reporting. So from the menu button, you can't see it down here, but it's a menu button that brings up these options. You have your home where you can get back to the base. Press menu again. Time, this is quite simply where you set your time. Time to say on for longer measurements where you don't want to hold the uh, trigger down. You have time to say on and all you have to do is get it started. But we're just going to do a five, well, let's change it. We'll do a 10 second measurement and we'll do time to say on. That's done down here. So that's how you set your time. Settings, this is where you pull up your view, the results setting. I've got it to a grade library right now. You can do different things, uh, format it on your own, averages, pass, fail if needed, but for most uh, the uh, grade library is going to be fine. Uh, you also have some other options in here like date, time, things like that. Going back to the menu, you can do a sample name here. We'll name it test with space one. Uh, that space one after you do that, then it's going to count up automatically, uh, two, three, four, and you can always edit that however you need to. Back to the menu, there it is. History button here, self-explanatory, and the method. This is where you select what calibration you're going to be testing on. I've just got it set up for alloy for what we're going to do today. So that in a nutshell is the software you can real quick drop down get a summary of everything here but at this point I'll just get started with the uh, measurement so on here I've got a sample piece on the system in that bench top stand that I showed you earlier it looks like this I'm going to pull the trigger get it started I release the trigger and then it's going to run through the rest of the measurement it's showing as the aluminum 11, about well, 1100, and that is what the sample piece is. Here you can see the elements that are uh, spotted by the system and quantified, the percentage that it notes, uh, standard deviation, and the limit that has been put in to identify it as this, excuse me, as this alloy grade. So from here now, that, uh, and by the way, you can always pin elements that are of high interest. You can sort by any of these. Uh, you can do that stuff right on the screen, touch screen. So then with our uh, results, we're going to go to the report generator. And this is a Win GUI, so you don't need any software to download. It's all done just uh, getting this GUI onto your system and then going to this 10.0.0.1. And what you do in advance is set up a template. Uh, it's nice and easy to do. If we were going to do it, uh, I'm going to use one I already set up. You just name it. Then just go right down here. Put in the company information. Format's pretty much going to be the same. Report header, a little bit about your sample or the reason for your test. View is where you put in the operator and pick what information you want on a report. And then you can also pick the elements that you want to highlight. Uh, I always like to do all elements from results so that everything from the result is shown. And then the margin, you put in uh, logo, company info, date and page number, and device serial number in different quadrants of the report. But for our purposes, I'm going to use one I already set up. So the first thing you do is select the template, Eastern, load results. I'm going to take test one that we did and load them. Here you can save it as a CSV if you want, uh, but I'm going to do it as a secure PDF and generate the report. Save it. It's going to show up nice and quick and open it up. There we see the logo, company information, it's our summary, 
gives us the numbers on the elements that it saw, spectrum, and the operator I put in, JGH. So that's it real nice and quick on the XMET 8000 series from Oxford Instruments, a great library range, simple to use, and durable. And if you have any questions, contact Eastern Applied through www.easternapplied.com. Thank you.